Hey folks, Marty Nowicki from Impact Snap. Someone left a comment about taking the club too far to the inside. We're going to address that today and show you there are times that you may want to do that, but if you are going to do it, how to do it properly. So there's a lot of internet instruction out there and there are a lot of people that would say, geez, I never want to see the club go, you know, the club should stay outside the hands until it at least gets to waist high. That's kind of true, kind of not. If I'm playing a draw, then I don't mind seeing the club at first parallel go slightly inside. Where I think most people make their mistake is they get the club head twisted relative to their arm, meaning what I mean by that is the club is traveling on its own going back there and if I am going to take it back to the inside I want to make sure that the wrist and the club head are traveling at the same rate and swinging it slightly to the inside. Arnold Palmer did that and really that, that's a nice simple way to think of a draw, getting the wrist and the club head to travel at the same rate at least to first parallel. If it's slightly to the inside, that's quite all right. The mistake people make is they get the club head going back inside while their hand actually starts to move further toward the ball. We do not want to see that. So again, get the wrist and the hosel working at the same rate. Because your body's turning, that can lead to a slightly inside takeaway. And there's a nice little draw coming right back to the middle. Again, the mistake people make is the club head travels without the arm. We want to make sure that as I'm turning, if the arm and club go slightly to the inside, that would be perfectly okay to hit a draw. Be mindful that for a full swing, the upper body, the arm, and the club are traveling together. What I mean by that is the clavicles are traveling around the top of the spine. If I see a lot of early turning, well then the club can go too far to the inside. And the danger there is I'll either hit big, some blocks, some overhooks, or you know potentially go back out over the top. We don't want to see either of those three. So again, if you are going to take the club slightly behind the hands, I want to make sure that the clavicles, wrist, and uh, club head are traveling at the same rate to about parallel to the ground. At that moment in time, that's when I'll have the pelvis and lower body start to turn. Now that's going to create a nice loaded backswing. If I add too much turn early with my lower body, then yes, I can go too far to the inside. Is it super important that at first parallel that the shaft is perfectly parallel to my toe line or to my target line? It's important, but it's not the end of the world if it isn't there. And I think a caveat to that is what shot are you trying to hit? If you're trying to hit a draw, slightly to the inside is okay. If you're not taking it to the inside, one of the drills that I like my students to do is make clockwise circles. Certainly higher handicaps, this is something that you need to do. And as I am looking at it, these are clockwise circles. Why that's so important? Because if I am parallel to that first stick on the, on the backswing, I really want to see it drop more to the inside because there's more potential energy getting the club swinging from the inside. Note that as I'm dropping it to the inside, I'm getting a lower body and a chest that's turning. And that what's, that's what protects me from swinging it too far into out. And that's where big blocks and big hooks would come in. I hope this video helped. And as you watch my videos and other videos around the YouTube golfing communities, you know, just be aware of people might say something that pertains to a particular shot and that just because someone says it doesn't per se make it true. Um, 
but it might pertain to a particular situation or a particular shot. I hope this video helped. Please hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification. That way, when we put out more content, you get notified. Click the like because that helps our videos surface to more golfers like you that are looking for information like this. Leave your comments down below because that helps us to create more content for you. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thank you for watching.